Soul Tribe, this is your collective message for today. Whenever you come across this message is when it was meant for you. This message may speak to a past occurrence, what you're experiencing in the present, or it can be a prediction for the future. Because this is a collective message, only parts of it may concern you or none of it may resonate at all. You can book a personal reading at antithet.com. What may not make sense for you today may resonate for you or someone in your energy field in the future. It is important that you listen to this message in its entirety. Tag it for particular phrases so that when you are reminded that Auntie Thick said that, you know which video to come back to in the future. Cancer. I feel like a message has gone out to someone. This could be um, like a direct message, an email, a voicemail. Either way it goes, I feel like the person that this message is being sent to. First of all, they've seen it, but there could be either a problem in them understanding it, or there is a some hesitancy with responding to this message. I don't feel like they are it's either it's either this person is not fully aware of what it is you're trying to say or they are a bit um, unsure how to respond to you um, but I do want you to know that your message has in fact been received I don't this could be being sent to someone who speaks a different language or someone who maybe speaks differently um, I don't know if maybe too much slang is being used here or if people are spelling words correctly I feel like there's an issue with translation of what's trying to be said here um, for some of you for others of you I feel like this message hasn't been returned yet because this person is not 100% sure um, how to handle this request or or if they if they want to like be a part of this I feel like there's also someone else involved in this so um, I don't know if there's um, like a translator or, or somebody referring somebody else I just feel like there are three people wrapped up in this communication they will respond however but it's important to know that something about this correspondence make, makes the other person feel uncomfortable. Like, how do I respond to that? What, what is the expectation? What am I supposed to say? Um, but they will respond. Now, Cancer, I also feel like there are a group of you who are dealing with some sort of weight issue. This could be... Um, something in reference to you feeling too heavy but also feeling guilty there could be an issue going on here with addiction to something that you just cannot stop doing um, but I feel like there's a lot of guilt attached to it it's like the mind wants one thing but physically you keep doing something opposite of that um, I do think that this is going to come to a head this problem with weight may be causing some sort of bodily issues with the leg, the upper, um, the upper right thigh, um, or it could be causing some sort of weakness in the knees. Um, so I feel like this is easily taken care of with two miles. I feel like a, a nice walk, not brisk not fast but just a nice two mile walk one mile one way one mile back the other way every day or at least five days a week is going to immediately release this pain that you're feeling in the legs it's going to strengthen the knees it's also going to help you to drop this weight i do also feel like um the problem you have with the addiction whatever this is I feel like there's something there's an addiction to some sort of food here 
maybe something that you're eating all the time it's like I just cannot have enough um, you won't have to give that up or or the food will be something that you will work with on the back end I feel like you're going to do this exercise and still keep up with this food thing but it's going to balance itself out for you and you'll notice that you are slowly depleting weight okay I do feel like the guilt has a lot to do with um, how you feel about yourself I don't think this is other people judging you but maybe you're comparing yourself to an older body you had when you were younger or even a few months ago or last year this time you know I look like this um, I feel like you can get back there I don't think that that's a problem for you if you do this two miles every day and it's just a two mile walk again nothing strenuous um, but I also feel like you are naturally going to be inclined over time when you start doing this walk to do a little jogging, walking, jogging, walking, jogging, and then running. So this may become something um, a bit more involved than you expect at this time. But just start with the two mile walks every day. And it'll also help you to release some of the guilt that you're carrying around this weight or this addiction issue. I am getting an overwhelming smell of cigarettes right now. Cigarettes, cigarettes, smoke. So if you are um, smoking and that is contributing in some way to your health or lack thereof, the smoking has got to go. Um, I do feel like the smoking is an annoyance to the people around you as well. So you may feel like people look at you side eye or they don't want to be around you because of the smell of smoke or cigarettes on you this is pretty real I do feel like this whatever this issue is going on with the cigarettes cancers whichever of you this affects um, or the people in your energy that this affects cancers I feel like you're Wow, I was going to say affecting, but they said infecting. So I feel like whatever is going on with you and your cigarette issue is touching people who you are not aware of. I feel like neighbors or people who you don't know are also some sort of way engaging with this, I just heard, cancerous air. So, um, Cancer, keep that in mind. If there is a problem going on here, you need to release yourself from the cigarette. Spirit just said, drop the cigarettes. So, if, if there's an issue with you, <coughs> excuse me, now it's cutting my throat. <coughs> excuse me. Oh, excuse me. <coughs> yeah, you got to cut the cigarettes. It could have some internal problems going on or your cigarette smoke can be causing problems for someone else around you cancer this can very much be someone also affecting you with their cigarette smoke i feel like somebody may be ingesting smoke strong smoke um this could also be a fire or something but i, I smell cigarettes so cancer you could be the person who's annoyed by someone else's cigarette smoke and you need to release yourself or remove yourself from whatever this environment is until they can get it together or completely eliminate smoking from you know from their activity when you are close or interacting with them but you could be cancer you can either be the person affected or the person infecting others so be careful I just heard the word pulmonary so this could be causing some sort of pulmonary disease or disorder in another um, I'm also feeling like someone could have a weakened immune system and that can help cause some sort of escalation um, of health issues with this smoky environment um, encapsulating them in some way I do see someone on an oxygen machine as well so but the smell of cigarettes and the um, 
the way it keeps coming coming in and cutting my throat still exists. So this may be someone who may ignore other people's um, requests for them not to smoke and negatively impact the health of others or their selves anyway. Cancer, I do feel like someone is um, experiencing some sort of restless restlessness in the body. Um, unable to get focused or settled or comfortable or enjoy anything. I feel like there's a flicking back and forth between maybe television stations or channels or something like that. Like maybe someone's jumping from YouTube to Netflix to something else to something else. They just can't find any one particular thing that they are. I feel like this has a lot to do with anxiety. But there's also something going on here with um, procrastination, boredom, fear. Uh, I do feel like somebody could be could have a project in their mind that they want to get off the ground, but they are not getting the kind of feedback or fast enough feedback from the people who they are interested in working with. Um, I think that this I just heard comes to a head. Now, Okay, I feel like something happens here where you actually find what you need. You actually get the team together that you need. But what ends up happening is you don't have the money to pay them. It's like you've got everything written out. You've found the team to work alongside of you. But what you're missing is the money. You are going to get it. The money is going to come in the most surprising way. I feel like there is a surprise encounter or there is like an encounter coming your way that you don't expect, that you are not looking for, that actually holds the money. This might come, I feel like this is coming from a masculine energy. This could be somebody who's coming into your life. Um, I just heard accidentally. But this is, this could be a lot of things because I feel like for some of you all, this is an investment relationship, an investor, investee kind of relationship. But I also feel like there's friendship involved here, but there's also a relationship or the possibility of being in a relationship. Okay. That complicates things a bit. Okay, so I feel like two people meet. There's some sort of acknowledgement knowing that there is an opportunity here for a business deal to take place. But I feel like the person with the money is attracted to the person with the idea, maybe, maybe romantically right but they keep it professional however in some sort of way they i just heard the word torment in some sort of way they torment or agitate this person because they don't believe the person they're investing in is attracted to them physically. So they might be a little mean, a little short, snappy at them. And it's mostly because this person is attracted to, I feel like this is an older and younger person as well. I feel like there's um, an older energy here, a mature energy who might be attracted to a younger energy this younger energy has the idea, the older energy has the money, but the older energy doesn't feel like there's a physical attraction from the younger person towards them. So they're mean to them instead. They're very, they keep it very professional, very, very direct. But in all honesty, they want this person to desire them. Okay. And interesting enough, the younger person, the younger person is not, 
they are simply trying to remain professional they don't want to lose the opportunity to get this investment they are also unaware that this person is physically attracted to them um so they are just trying to stay on the straight and narrow be respectful get the work done make sure that they don't lose this resource this investment this money this support this help and so they can't fully understand why the other why this older energy is being mean to them there could be a difference in race ethnicity nationality here and the older person, I feel like there's a, there's a huge age difference. There could be a, a difference in race, culture, something like that, nationality, like two different countries or something. Either way it goes, they think that it's the race that causes the younger energy not to be attracted to them. Like, like if this is an older um, black woman, right, she might think that this young Peruvian guy um, isn't interested in her because she's black um, or however the however the ethnicity differences is or the age differences is they feel like there's something external that's causing this person not to be attracted to them that's not true at all though I feel like this younger energy would actually be open to a conversation about a relationship if the older energy would just be this younger energy is open to a conversation about a relationship if the if the older energy would just be direct however they are so turned off because this older energy is mean to them that the opportunity for a conversation to come up now about a relationship is completely ruined by this attitude it's very somebody is going to pass away here that just popped in i feel like the number three is significant here somebody either meets and within three months somebody has passed away or three i feel like this is months i don't feel like this is years this is either three weeks or three years i'm sorry this is either three weeks or three months like somebody passes away from whenever you hear this message or whenever you meet this person it's going to be kind of interesting because i feel like somebody might come into your life help you with something pass away and maybe leave you everything i mean i know that that sounds a little far-fetched right but i feel like for some of you that's a this is an actual kind of miracle story of sorts. Yeah, I, Cancer, I want you to be on the lookout. Whatever this idea you have you're working on, you want to get off the ground. I think it's going to be successful. You are going to find your team. You're also going to find money. I feel like Spirit is setting you up to walk into the person who has the money. And who's going to fully support you. They think that this is an awesome idea. Congratulations, Cancer. This is a beautiful reading. I'm Auntie Dick and this is your reading for today.